Hello, hello. Can you guys hear me? Everybody hears me? More or less? Okay. Great. Um, good evening, everybody. Um, real quick, before I kind of get started, if we can have one more round of applause for all of the Booster Club members that made this possible. Marcelo Munoz, Mr. Velasquez, Ms. De Leon, John and Irma Munoz, Ms. Quijas, a lot of others that I know I'm missing. You guys worked very hard to make this um, event possible and to make this venue look so great, so thank you. Um, for those of you who do not know who I am, and just didn't hear Mr. Velasquez right now, my name is Aaron Peterson. I'm the Assistant Athletic Director at Emanuel Christian School, and I headed up the athletic department this uh, past season since January. Um, I don't think uh, it's much of a secret that this year was difficult. I think if you ask any of the coaches that stood up here today, um, they would say that it presented some unique challenges uh, to all of us. Um, I took a brief hiatus from the athletic department in September of 2022. Um, that was definitely one of the hardest things I had to do, and I know Mr. Davis can attest to that through a lot of uh, prayer and conversations. Um, but all of those struggles and the frustrations, um, every moment that I kind of just put my head in my hands and asked the Lord for direction and purpose and wisdom. Um, all of that helped me to grow as an individual, I think, this year more than it had in any of my four years before at Emmanuel. Um, so not only do I have those trials and, and I have God to thank for making me the person who I am today, but there are so many of you out there who um, contributed who had my back, who had faith in me, and who put trust in me this year to make this athletic season as successful as possible. So thank you, thank you all. Um, before we get started um, with honoring all of our great athletes, I do have a short list of thank yous that I do kinda wanna get through. So um, first of all, to the parents, and I mean every single one of you. Um, you all were dedicated and committed to the school, to these athletes, and to the season, uh, to getting your kids to practice on time, to getting your kids to games on time, often getting your kids to games on time. Thank you for that. Um, thank you for trusting not only me, but um, uh, the head of school, Mr. John Davis, and uh, the athletic coordinator, Victoria Meisenbach. Thank you for trusting us with your kids this year and trusting us to see this year to fruition. And um, I think, frankly, it turned out to be a very successful season. Um, so I need to especially thank the parents who, um, there's a special special parents out there, a lot of you know who you are, that I need to thank who, uh, stood, by this, who stood by my side this year, who stood up for me when it wasn't popular, who prayed for me, and who encouraged me to rejoin the athletic program in January. Whether it was your messages of support, or seeing my family at a restaurant and paying our check, or waving me down at a Dairy Queen and rolling down your windows just to say hi. Words will never express how much of a blessing you all have been. I need to thank all of our awesome coaches. You all dedicate so much time to these athletes. You, you sacrifice so much time from your families and jobs. Many of you all take several trips to Dallas and Fort Worth, and I know the hours and vans with these athletes can definitely wear on you. All of you coaches are the lifeblood of this athletic department, and I'm personally grateful for each and every one of you. Sorry. Um, I need to thank Mr. Davis for taking a chance on me four years ago, for allowing me to take the reins of the IT department in the midst of a global pandemic, <laughs> for then allowing me to build an internet presence for the athletic department, then for allowing me to oversee all of our social media and websites, and perhaps in your biggest step of faith, sir, you allowed me to take the reins of the athletic department this past January. Sir, you were my advocate, you stood up for me, you trusted in me, and for that I truly thank you. I want to thank Victoria, who's sitting right up front, for truly stepping up this past January and putting her talents and expertise to hard work. Not only did her and her husband do a phenomenal job with our inaugural women's soccer team, but she did a great job helping and supporting me day in and day out. Victoria, I know you'll continue to glorify God in all you do, 
and so much more of your potential will continue to be unlocked and used to help this athletic program in the future. Thank you. I also need to thank someone very special who's not here tonight. You know, there's so much about this job that cannot be taught. And in a year like this, much of what I learned, I had to learn through good old fashioned experience. But my athletic director, Bobby Ruby, whom I got to spend three years working under and learning from, was the person who reminded me to rely on God and glorify God in all things. Show patience and grace under pressure. And no matter what anyone may say about you, if you know you did it the right way, God's way, that's all that matters. So thank you, Mr. Ruby. Yes. <laughs> Lastly, and certainly not least, there is no me without you, the athletes. You all make this the most fun job in the world. Well, definitely the most interesting job in the world. From wanting to help design uniforms, or freaking out when there may be a bug in your room, or buying a mini basketball hoop for my office, uh, or asking me to be Humpty Dumpty on a senior float. <laughs> oh my, I look more like a cat. I, uh, I, I walked out of the bathroom with my face paint on and I made like a four-year-old cry. It was awesome. Um, there was not a day that I did not have something interesting, exciting, or fun to deal with. Thank you to you all for making me the proudest, most blessed, happiest assistant athletic director anyone could ask for. So I've said a lot of thank yous, and um, in recent days it's come to my attention that not many people are aware of my future at ICS. So I'd like to tell you all tonight that after my four years of service to ICS Athletics, I will not be returning to the athletic department next year. I am pleased to say that I'm leaving on good terms. I will miss it. I wish I could stay. However, there are new guidelines coming down from our accreditation service that do not, that do not permit me to maintain my current position. Furthermore, I'm happy to say that I will be staying on as the school's branding advisor and social media website manager as I continue to pursue my degree at UTEP. I will continue, I will continue, I will continue to be the biggest fan of ICS athletics and I will continue to pray for this, pro for this program's success and I truly hope you all will uh, join me in that prayer. You know, the athletes, the athletes we are going to recognize today, they were up and at practice before the sun was up. They were often leaving the building after the sun had already gone down. Because of these young men and women, ICS has had one of the most successful seasons in recent history and fielded one of the most talented group of athletes in ICS history. Therefore, the athletes we recognize today completed their seasons to the fullest and represented God, ICS, and their families well. So without